Surely that can't be a real camel. We've come to the car boot that's just opened up by our field and we're going to take the dogs for a walk at the same time. The dogs absolutely love going to the car boot. They love all the different sights and sounds and especially all the different smells. And look at that, it's just £1.50 for a whole tray of young vegetable plants. Could you imagine how much that would cost in home base? I just love looking at all the little knickknacks and just pretty things. You never know what you're gonna find. I love old tools. And just look at that wrought iron bench. Could you imagine if that was restored back with its planks again? It would be absolutely beautiful. This was a lady that made all lotions and potions from all organic and natural things and it smelled incredible. This old clock, it's just beautiful. Alice's stall is definitely the dog stall and last time she chose her own tennis ball out of a bucket. Alice, what can you see? Of course, I had to get Mommy's crystals and stream a wire. We really needed some of that. And I got Bruce this shiny red ball and one of the glider planes so that he could play with them down on the field. What on earth? That definitely wasn't there yesterday. Oh, I love the old trucks. The traditional circus painting, wow. Uh, is that a camel? Surely that can't be a real camel. The circus had come to town. It was Jolly Circus and they're a traditional animal circus. I didn't even think these existed anymore. I have a vague memory of going to a real circus just like this when I was a kid and I'm sure that they had a lion, but I was just fascinated by the horses as usual. I remember that for sure. It turns out that the camel, who is affectionately called Kashmir, used to be in this circus, along with three zebras, a rare breed cow and a very vocal parrot. But under the Wild Animals in Circus Act that came to pass in 2019, they're no longer allowed to use the wild animals that they have in any of their performances that are part of the travelling circus. I didn't know any of this. And apparently, if the circus had a fixed address and just stayed in exactly the same place all of the time, they'd be able to let people see them. They're not allowed to be viewed by the public at all. So instead, they just travel around as their pets and stay out of sight at all times. I have to say though, they were all so incredibly friendly and they looked like they were in fantastic condition. The camel was losing his winter coat, just like our horses are now. There were quite a few ponies and donkeys that the owners of the circus had rescued and that's how they'd ended up with the circus in the first place. Huh. It's strange that people would have sent these beautiful animals to the meat man, just like they sent our baby dream. Anyway, I'm going to show you an awesome horsey yard hat now that I use a lot and I'm quite sure would be quite a valuable bit of information that you could use too. And I know that your horses will just love this.
getting some use out of that car boot streamer wire. this week to drop off a load of rubbish and I noticed there was a load of broom heads all over the floor and um the one guy that works at the tip said that I could have these three and I thought it'd be really nice for Toby because he's been really really itchy to add them onto the doors where he's been itching all the way down here so that he can have a good scrub on these quite hard bristled brushes so First thing you need to do is just take this off, but don't throw these away because they're really, really handy. These make really good bridal hanging hooks and you can also hang your head collars and things on there. You need quite a long screw that's quite durable because when they get scrubbing on these, they really do have a good go at it. All you need is two screws, one about there and one about there. And you find the really scrubbed part, which is from about there to about there. So that's about two broom heads. And just put a broom where that scrubbed part is. That's on really solid and you'll be able to really scrub on that now. There we go, good and solid. And you can just see the screws there. So the horses are gonna absolutely love having the broom heads there. I've always got lots of broom heads everywhere because it stops them pushing your fences over because they scrub themselves on the broom heads instead of on your fence posts. And the handle fitting really does make fantastic little holders for your head collars, your lead ropes. You could even hang up some of your tools, such as your pitchfork or rag fork, if they've got a handle that will just hook over. You could also hang up a tool that didn't have like a hole in the top like that. You just have to put two together with a gap in the middle and then just slot it onto the top. <laughs> 